Integrity, what it does also is that integrity, lack of it, is a slow fade. It starts with insignificant acts and leads to the unthinkable acts. You know, for David, integrity started with small things. When Saul was there urinating and, or taking, uh, taking his bathroom stuff, and David came and cut a little bit of his rope. And the Bible says, and David's heart condemned him. He didn't kill Saul. He didn't even stab him. He didn't pinch him. He cut a little bit of his rope to prove a point that he didn't want to kill him. And just cutting his rope, he felt like I ruined his rope and his heart was convicting him. David protected in the smallest things his integrity. And therefore God elevated him and protected him. But there came a point when David became lazy. When David became too relaxed and instead of going to war, David stayed home. David decided that I'm too old. I fought too many times. I deserve to stay home. I deserve to have a vacation. David instead of doing something at home, he slept all day. In the evening, got up and he saw a woman taking a shower. In those days, they couldn't afford the curtains. And so David, not to the fault of his own, saw the woman taking a shower naked. And this is where we see small in one day acts of compromise. Small, insignificant. Not going to war, sleeping all day beholding a woman who is naked then commits an adultery with the woman and then the husband of the woman comes back from war and David asks him go back to your wife get her pregnant because David knew she's pregnant and the man the Bible says he decides not to go back to his wife but stay with the army he says how could I go to my wife if my king and the kingdom is in war and David makes him drunk so that he could go to his wife and the man being drunk had more integrity than David when he was sober. You saw David go corrupt, go so disgusting inside. In a matter of few months, the man after God's heart becomes twisted, a psychopath to the point where he decides to kill the guy, writes the letter and puts the letter of suicide in the very guy's hands to carry to the general. I mean how sick can you be? That's what happens to each one of us when we begin to slip and trip in small areas. You find yourself in the areas you never thought are possible. You find yourself doing things you never thought you could even be doing that. Why? It happened to David. It could happen to you. It could happen to me. That's why you want to protect your consciousness with the issue of money, with the issue of work when it comes to small things. Like you steal somebody's money, like coming late to work, like cheating on taxes. All of these things, they're small. But listen, they create within you a capacity to go stupid and to go haywire and David murders the man and the interesting part is David got away with it but the Bible says but it displeased the Lord the prophet came and more damage came to David's house over lack of integrity than any pain Saul has ever caused you can get away with it but remember there is a God in heaven and there is IRS.